relaxing days, like, why is she trying to whip me like a slave? What it was, was my belt buckle, and it's so dumb. It was, and it was a star, and it's very sharp on all five corners, right? I got invitations in my stomach from it, so I was gonna sling it through his head. Brianna gets it in, she's like, what? You want some too, Will? You want some too? I said, I said, I said, I said, I was like, you know what? You got me, you got me good for my girl. She's yeah. a love kid. She's the best, man. She was actually here yesterday in New York, so. She's still working on that album. Listen to her next album coming out soon. Yeah, she's got she's got one on iTunes right now. It's a real nice one. I think she's uh she's actually with uh the she Universal, Universal Most oh, yeah, Time now. So she's doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And she's working on her next project and stuff. So make sure you check her shout out. Rihanna Taylor. Rihanna Taylor, shout out and real. Cool. Do we still talk to Joey? Um no, we, well, I, I mean, I think right after the show, everybody, you know, was tight, and then everybody kind of started to do their own different things, and, um, you know, some people picked up managers, and some people picked up agents, and things like that, and, um, you know, we kind of just, we kind of just lost touch with him, you know, we check, I mean, some people check in with him now, and then he's doing different projects, he does a lot of what we do, you know, um, going and speaking and stuff, but, um, you know, I think just, um, you no, know, kind of just, it's not that we don't like him, I guess we just, you know, you keep close to him, you just keep close with him, and you're running me, so that's, that's where we're at with that. What do we uh, each of us learn from the experience? Um, wow, on a personal level, um, I actually, I learned how to be a leader, is the best way to say it, all my life. Um, I've just been like, just a nerd in high school, you know what I'm saying? Thick glasses, they still make fun of me for them. Braces, my mom cut my hair, my hairline was like this. My boys is tight though, my boys is tight though. But, uh, you know, and my mom's here when he has the brains. And I had oh, this small, you know what I mean? So I, I always grew up like that. And so I've always been a follower. I've always been, you know, kind of quiet, just kind of like following, going the flow or whatever. And it's been out in Hollywood and, and having that, that grinding mentality and always want to take advantage of every opportunity and network and seeing you know, people like Rihanna, kind of nervous and not really know what to do, or Kimberly just not want to do anything at all. I, you know, I want to step up, even in the Greg situation, I want to step up and I just really became a leader and I just learned that, you know, like I, I got it now. I can just, you know, lead people, you know, to, to, to freedom or whatever, you know what I mean? So that's all I learned about myself. I think one of the things I learned was I'm, I'm used to people liking me, you know, I'm, I'm used to being that person that people just naturally start to like and for me to step into a position where Couple girls didn't like me for no unknown reason it was really tough on me because I that's I think that's one of the reasons they cast me. Like I like the people to like me, you know, and if they don't, it bothers me. Um, and I think being in that situation, it really taught me that to adjust to it. Like you know, not everybody's gonna like you. There's nothing you could do about it, even if it's for whatever reason. Even if they have they make up a reason, you know. So that's pretty much what I learned. Um, so yeah. Just to, just to sell it, go 110%, like, you know, I get up and host shows, do different things now, and I just, I just attack it with, like, 110%, I don't, I'm fearless, like, I, I learned how to be, like, fearless in a, in a, in a, in a better way. There's that person that, yeah, does crazy things, like, and wild things, and you'd be like, wow, that person's so, like, outgoing and brave. I just learned how to, how to use that in better situations, like business situations or entertainment situations, just to own it and seize it and be 110% all about it. So, I mean, that's, that's what I figured out while I was out there. It was just an opportunity, you know. I turned what I thought was just going to be a hunt, like crazy wild party time, you know, halfway through the season. Because when I went out there, I didn't, I didn't really, like, I was one of the only people, I was the only person that didn't have, like, a soul, hadn't made beats like Will or hosted things like Nick or sang like Brianna. I was like, I don't even know why I made it on the show. I was like sport management being like, uh, being like in the gym, like just working out, thinking I'm going to go do some sports stuff. And then all of a sudden, after the season, I'm like, I want to host. You know, I want to do this kid. This, I mean, if it wasn't for him coming in the house, like, he really, like, opened my eyes to a lot of stuff that I got to owe him for. 10%. Okay, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm from, like, a small redneck town, and everybody had black friends. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even one. I'm just kidding.